What's up, YouTube? So, another thing with the GD Plus 4 that I wanted to go over was an issue that I found the day that I got it, but I could not figure out how to fix it until uh, Naziworks posted a video. I was able to remedy it and his video is what prompted this video because I think that more people knowing about this is important if you have this printer um, so you know what's going on. So let's uh, just come over here. Sorry for the movement. I have to take you off the tripod. Let's come over here and take a look at the printer. Let's go ahead and zoom out. And as you can see, our build plate is listed for, maybe you can't see, got a glare. Uh, there we go. As you can see, we have a build plate of 305, 305 by 280. 280 being the Z-axis height and or how high, how tall your model can be. I'm going to have to bring that light over. And sorry, I have to do this off the tripod so you can actually see it. Right down in here. Oh, that actually does pretty good. You see that has a slot. Or this open space for the heater right down there that's where the heated air comes out and blows your temperature well if in fact come up and you were building something and you was a kilogram of roll kilogram of filament in and you had your heat bed all the way down which I'm going to manually do for us here I do have to home the machine before it will do it, so we're gonna, it's just homing right now. And just here momentarily, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So now it's at home. So now we're gonna bring the Z axis down. And just look in there. And watch if you see what the problem is as we go. Bring it down. As you can see, hopefully, zooming in here trying to make the best out of the light that I got. Right there, you're starting to block off that heater fan exit where the hot air blows out. Go down another 10 and now you're probably 50% of blocking that off bring it down here right here is about 270 millimeters that's the max you can go before you block it all off because if you go down to full full amount you have essentially blocked off your entire heat vent and what will happen is inside this heat thing there is a thermistor and once it hits 130 C clipper will air out. Shut the machine down. It's an unrecover, unrecoverable air. You've lost all your filament and everything. So how do we fix that? I'm going to show you. Let me put you back on the tripod. All right. I need to get a new light. All right. So come with me over to my computer. I'm trying to make this 
as best as you can. What I have right up here is the QD slicer. All right. So, along with the bed issue, and we had the uh, heater issue, which I showed you. Um, the only way to actually fix that hardware wise is to change the heater design, take it off and modify it yourself, whatever the case may be. Now I didn't take any credit for what I'm about to show you. Um, I knew there was an issue with the hardware or uh, an oversight essentially. However, I was not real sure how to fix it in the slicer. And I give credit to Nazi Works for this, and I'm sharing with other people because I think it's important to know and show how to work around so you don't waste any filament that is possibly expensive. So, as you can see over here, and I'm going to kind of zoom in just because I want you all to be able to see as best as possible. Um what I'm clicking. Hopefully that's sufficient. I'm in a uh, uh, QD slicer by the way and it might look a little different on any slicer but uh, QD slicer pretty much is similar to like bamboo or orca slicer now. Um, just FYI. So as you can see up in here this is supposed to say X plus 4 0.4 nozzle G code fixed. However, as you can see, the X uh, was nixed on this one right there, so I'll fix that. So, what you're looking at and what you have to do to fix this issue, and this is for each slicer you use, if you use multiple slicers per printer or per, you know, if you use two different slicers for the X4 or the plus four, you'll need to do this. So you want to go in and you'll make a user preset and it's going to be, well, I mean, technically you could go to here and you could go over and edit as well, which why don't we just go ahead and do that and that way you can kind of see the process. So over in here, we've got the Q plus zero four nozzle selected. And when you come down over to here, and forgive me, I can't tell if you can see, so I'm just kind of zooming in to hopefully give the best picture possible. Uh, let's get to the actual plus four. All right, so now we're on the plus four, which we need. And we're going to check that same box that I had showed you up there, right up here. I'm going to click over here and bring that down which will prompt this thing and you're going to go to your machine G code and go down to your layer change G code and as you can see it st stops right here at the bottom so what you would want to put in is this right here. Go to your end don't, and then hit return and then we'll hit uh, control V and we'll paste. And as you can see we have now a code that says check underscore chamber underscore heater underscore Z. So that's what you want to do in there. And then you would hit save. Now, I'm not going to save it because I already have them, but that's the process of doing it. And these, uh, this code right here, what you're going to see, I will attach it via a Google Drive link so that you can copy and paste if need be in the same spot. Because YouTube will not let you do this, put this kind of stuff in there. I already know that. Um, but that's all you need to do and then you come over here to your save button and hit save and then you would rename it which I already did which was copy. Um, so that's what you need to do and your slicer. We're going to get out of there and then we're going to go to our device tab which will be right here. 
and you're going to click your device tab and you're going to see we have the plus four screen in there and you're going to slide down right over to here to your configuration and you'll select that from your configuration files you're going to want to go down to where you see the G code underscore macro dot CFG file or configuration and you'll click it and this is a long set of code to operate your printer um, and to tell it what to do basically and where to do it so we're going to take our go to the right here and we're just going to drag this bar all the way down to the bottom okay when you get to the bottom typically this G90 on line 937 that was the end of the of the G code so you should have a space and see 938 empty and then this right here view g code macro documentation yada yada and then on line 939 no space prior to or this will not work you want to copy and paste this code g code macro check chamber heater z g code percent you know if printer tool head is in position z at 270 millimeters which is if you recall where it about blocked off the heater but at 270 millimeters it does it'll keep the chamber temp at 65c and it won't trip the heater thermistor inside the heater which will cause your air so i'm going to put this here g code in my Google Drive along with the other stuff and you can just copy and paste into your plus four G code and this is how you work around this until hopefully Chidi uh, modifies the part and they'll go ahead and uh, you know either provide it free of charge which would be the right thing to do uh, honestly and then you'll be good to go you will lose 10, 10 millimeters of build space on your z-axis height um, which for me isn't a huge deal but if it is you can take the heater off and modify it if you have a Dremel and some basic tools just not something that uh, I really wanted to do and again, thank, uh, you know, check out Nazi Works uh, channel. I'll link him below as well. Um, he's the one that put this out there. But his his viewers and mine are two, two different sets of viewers most of the time. So this is an additional 4,000 people that can see this. And um, hopefully it'll help them out. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I will link my original video right up top there. So you can check it out and if you have any questions put them below and again all this macro code and what you need to do will be in the description via a google drive link that i will just publicly share thank you all for watching and we will see you on the next video